Hi friend, David here from LearnChristmasLighting.com and today we're back in our Taking It Apart series and today we're going to look at something from Extreme Sequences. Uh, the guy's name is Ron Howard, not to be confused with, well, Happy Days, you know, Ron Howard. Uh, and um, he, what's interesting to me, just before we get into it, and what we can learn from him is not only does he make great sequences, I'm at ExtremeSequences.com, you can check him out. But also, um, Ron's display and the absurd amount of lights that he has, there's a lot, is an absolute testament and an absolute, um, you know, the point here is that you really got to rely on making your groups in X lights uh, or Vixen if you're using Vixen, um, because groups make the world go round. If you um, don't use groups and your display grows, it will be a nightmare. Whereas if you use groups, you can have a display as large as this one that we're about to look at, and it can still be really manageable to sequence. Let's take a look. This is a TSO medley, by the way. So as I mentioned, there's an absurd, there are just a lot of lights in this. Um, and he starts with Wizards in Winter, which I think is great because when I think of like a classic, you know, light sh Christmas light show to music, I think of the Wizards in Winter because there were, I think, was it a contest or something like years ago where people would have their lights flashing to Wizards in Winter? And that was mostly AC light displays, not pixels like this. Um, and man, you know, um, uh, this, this is such a cool song. Um, and you can see what he's doing here. There's a lot of color, not too much though. He's sticking mostly with uh, that red, yellow, blue. And um, and when you watch the effects, you see there's a variety of effects going on here, but really it's, it's a handful of groups, right? He's not sequencing every prop individually. That would be absolutely nuts. <laughs> So the rule of thumb here, or at least uh, what Ron's doing for this song, is instead of turning different props off during slower parts of the song, he just uses less colors. So the busier times in this song have more colors. The less busy times musically just have one or two colors. Um, my preference is to do both, to use less props and less colors when it's not as busy. But, you know, every, you do you, right? Everybody do your, do your own thing. And if you like how it looks, you know, do what he does, right? And must I say here, I mean, this is a, a screen grab from X Lights, not a actual on a actual house yet. But, um, but I must say, when you have a lot of props and they're all doing the same effect, and they're lined up really well in X Lights, I mean, it is just breathtaking. It looks so stinking awesome. Also, is it just me or when he does these circles on this matrix and, and here, does it look like a face to you? So I love how we're starting this song. I believe it's Christmas Eve Sarajevo um, with with these gentle sweeps of white across, you know, some various other effects going on. Um, it's worth noting as well that, you know, unlike some of the other ones we watched, uh, you know, like Tom B. George and the Peace Family, um, you know, there's no moving lights here. That's not part of his display at all. It's, it's really just pixels. Thank you. 
I like that spiral there with that guitar solo. Um, I like how he takes this uh, this forest of pixels and he uses it. Sometimes he takes it in and out. Really cool. Alright, now this song I like, it's kind of a different style of sequencing where instead of running effects that, you know, match the speed and mood of the music, he's really going in there and he's flashing different things totally on and off and, and turning different effects on and off on different groups uh, to create that movement and that rock sound and I love that. You see, see how all those trees are in yellow dancing with the guitar and the drums? So cool. Oh man, I mean, how can you argue with Trans-Siberian Orchestra? You know, at the end of the day, they rock. Really cool sequence. Um, you know, in my, you know, is my personal opinion, I don't mean to offend people, but his display is a little busy and some of the sequencing, there's just a lot going on. But then again, it matches the music. So if you like what you see, you know, study it. Use it for inspiration for your own sequences. And of course, check out Ron's site. He does a lot for the community um, and his sequences are great. And uh, it's extreme sequences. That's with an X extreme. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this as well as our other videos in this series. If you liked it, be sure you subscribe here. And if you're new to this stuff, head over to Learn Christmas Lighting and grab my free guide on how to begin with Christmas lighting. We'll see you guys there. Thanks.